chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again the length and breadth of a rectangular field are doubled the percentage increase in area is what now this is a question that requires us to find the increase of the area and then from that increase we can find out the percentage increase so we can start by assuming that the length and breadth are l and b so we can write a is equal to l b this is the area before increasing and the area after after doubling after doubling the area becomes the area is equal to 2l because the length has been doubled to 2l multiplied by 2 breadth because the breadth has also been doubled which becomes equal to 4l b this is what we have now from here we can find out the original area was lb the new area is 4lb we can write therefore we can write percent increase percent increase is equal to first of all what is the increase it is 4lb minus lb this is the increase divide it by the original value which is lb and multiply the entire thing by 100 this will give us the percentage increase we can see that this is equal to 4lb minus lb will be 3lb so it is 3lb by lb multiplied by 100 here we can see that this lb can be cancelled by this lb and then we can multiply 3 by 100 our answer would be equal to 300 percent so this is the answer in this case let us move to our next question now a hall 25 meter long and 15 meter broad is surrounded by a veranda of uniform width 3.5 meter we can draw a bit of schematic first that will help us understand the situation this is 25 meter long veranda uh, this uh, hall and 15 meter broad hall and it is surrounded by a veranda we can mark this as the as the veranda and this is the veranda so we can write that this is the veranda and its uniform thickness has been given to us as 3.5 meters the cost of flooring the veranda some tiles may have to be applied here the cost of flooring the veranda at 27.5 per square meter this square meter will tell us that we are to deal with the area basically so we have to first of all find the area of this shaded portion and multiply it by 27.5 to obtain the cost now the formula for the area of this shaded portion when the shaded portion lies outside the rectangle that we have already derived in one of our videos and we can use that as our shortcut method now what do we have with this we have 
L equal to 25 meters. This is one thing. We have B equal to 15 meters. That is the second thing that we have. And the width of the surrounding veranda has been given to us as 3.5 meters. The formula for the area of the veranda, that formula we have already derived earlier, says that the area is equal to 2W multiplied by multiplied by length plus breadth plus 2 into width. This is the formula that we have derived earlier. Now we can make the substitutions to find out the area. This will be equal to this 2W. 2W this is 3.5. So it becomes 2 into 3.5 that is 7 we can even write orally. 7 multiplied by length is 25 add to it 15 and further add 2 times w which we have already seen is 7. So this is what is the area which we can write equal to this will be 7 multiplied by 25 and 15 will be 25 plus 5 30 and then 10 40 this will be 40 7 which we can calculate equal to 329 square meter so this is the area of the shaded portion we have obtained it in just one second by simply applying the shortcut formula that we derived in our videos earlier so we can now write the cost would be cost would be equal to 329 multiplied by 27.5 this this we can write as 329 multiplied by 275 by 10. This was 2750 and okay, I'll write it completely. It is often better to deal with hundreds and all and multiply the numerators. Multiplication of non-decimals is often easier and things do help when we already have hundreds or multiples of 10 in the denominator. Now in this case, we simply need to multiply these two figures and obtain our answer. We can first of all cancel this zero by this one. Now it remains about multiplication of 329 and 275 which you can calculate on your sidelines to see that 90475 is the numerator and the 10 here brings the answer to 9047.5 rupees. The examiner expects you to know this formula. So you should remember this because a number of questions I have seen in the past years, they depend on your knowledge of this formula. And in case the veranda had been on the inner side then the only change to the formula is that this will be minus 2 w you can see my earlier videos and the sole summary is that in case the veranda of width w is inside the rectangle then only change is that this plus changes into minus the formula remains 2 w into l plus b minus 2 w let us move on to our next question now. If the area of a rectangle be x square plus 7x plus 10 square centimeter, then one of the possible perimeters of it is. Perimeter has to be found out. The expression for the area has been given to us. 
Now this is the area that has been given to us. We can write A is equal to x square plus 7x plus 10. This is what has been given to us and we are expected to find out the perimeter. This means we have to, if we see this area should be expressed as a product of two linear factors and once we are able to factorize this we will have the length and breadth and from there we can work add them in fact to obtain our perimeter. Now the first job is about factorization of this one. We know that the coefficient of x square is 1. So the factorization can be done by finding two numbers finding two numbers whose sum is 7, sum is 7, find numbers whose sum is 7 and product is equal to 10. Once we are able to find them, we will be able to factorize it and we can simply guess those two numbers as 5 and 2. 5 into 2 is 10 and 5 and 2 is 7. And once you have these two numbers and in case you are having a problem with this factorization, go through my videos on factorization where I have given detailed analysis of everything on factorization from the simplest possible cases to the most complicated cases. I have always given extensive coverage to every topic in all my videos. So right now I am simply using the summary out of them that the sum should be 7 and prod should be 10. So we can write which implies area can be written as these are the two numbers. So we can write the factor as x plus 5 into x plus 2. Area is a product of two factors we can now take that this factor will be the length and this factor will be the breadth. So, which implies perimeter should be equal to 2 times the length plus breadth which is equal to 2 times x plus 5 plus x plus 2 that is equal to 2 times this will be 2x plus 7. I am just circling this one so that nobody gets confused with this that it is a fraction. Okay. So this is the perimeter which we can immediately write as 4x plus 14 and therefore we now have to look in the choices. The first choice is the obvious answer. I am 100% sure that many candidates might have reached this point easily and in a hurry. I, you know that is the basic problem with many people. They are always in a hurry. Maintain a level of patience. Now look this. Many people would have reached this point. They would have simply added them without and forgetting that the perimeter is twice. And 2x plus 7 would have been their sum. And this trap, they would have fallen. I have taken all these four choices and this question from the previous papers. And this is a choice. This is solely meant for those people who are in absolute hurry. And you know, one wrong tick, you lose the marks. Patience is required. Don't get overconfident. Try to solve everything till the end. Once you have a confirmation by maybe spending 10 or 15 seconds more. Once you have a confirmation, a double surety, only then take it mark. And don't fall into those traps which says that use that shortcut, use that shortcut. Because sometimes the shortcuts they get mixed in your mind. 
so take care of those things this is my sincere advice to all of you let us move to our next question now